Traveller men and traveller women die younger. Traveller men have a life expectancy that is 15 years less than settled Irish men, and traveller women have a life expectancy of 12 years less. Traveller men are 6.5 times more likely to die by suicide than settled Irish men, and traveller women are five times more likely to die by suicide. A traveller baby born in Ireland is almost four times more likely to die as an infant than a baby born in a settled Irish family. These are the stark findings of the All-Ireland Traveller Health Study in 2010. The study concludes that the social determinants of health have a major impact on the health of the traveller population. The Southern Traveller Health Network and University College Cork carried out research to explore the food choices of traveller women in Cork and Kerry and the relationship between food and exercise with overweight and obesity among traveller women. This study concluded that there are multiple factors influencing on the food and exercise choices of traveller women. Ongoing racism and discrimination have negative impacts on our identity, our self-respect and our self-esteem. This affects the choices we make about food and exercise. For example, leading to comfort eating and eating due to stress and boredom. High levels of ongoing stress also have a major impact on our choices about food and exercise. For us as traveller women, stress is a continuous daily reality caused by dealing with problems in accommodation, employment, health and education. None of these issues occur in isolation. They are usually all happening at the same time. The root of many of these issues is the racism and discrimination we experience on a daily basis. Food customs of the traveller community, for example, preparing a lot of food in case family members call in and we don't have enough to go around. Also old and recent experiences of consistent lack of access to good food due to limited resources also play a role in the choices made. The high cost of food and greater access to less healthy food that is cheaper also plays a role. The responsibility of being caregivers for the wider extended family as well as the nuclear family impacts on our food and exercise choices due to the limited time available and the associated pressures. All of the above leads to feelings of hopelessness, feelings of inability to change things and ultimately feelings of being overwhelmed. This affects the choices we make about food and exercise. The study reinforced the evidence that the social determinants are the key factors that impact on the food and exercise choices and ultimately the health of traveller women.